Hey, what's up, guys? This is Church of Caboose, and welcome to my corner of the internet. In this video, I want to tell you guys how to use the most effective, highest, deep slowdowns you can have for Tanix the Abomination. If you enjoy this video, make sure y'all subscribe to my channel as well as like the video and comment down below. Now, the topic of this video is going to be how to make double slugs and anarchy work now in order to get things like these double slugs there's going to be some rng and for anarchy if you do not already have anarchy you just need to get 240 squoils some ascendant shards and other materials and you can buy the anarchy from the exotic kiosk in the tower so that's how you're going to acquire the anarchy so first we're going to talk about the roles you want to have on these different shotguns to make them the most effective as well as what shotguns i think are the best to use as well as we're going to go into things like armor mods as well as like exotics stuff like that they'll make your lives a little bit easier and i am going to cover hunter warlock and we're going to end with titan because i love titan and i think it's probably the easiest to do this on so make sure you guys are sticking through all the way this is going to be rather quick because it's not super duper complicated but when i raid with folks people are always like oh my gosh why are you doing double slugs it just seems so dangerous and they're like holy cow you didn't die you and i was like yep 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 it's not it's not too bad so so here's what i do first off for shotguns you want to have heritage with recombination reconstruction if you do not have that kind of a role anything with a slug shotgun like heritage in your kinetic slot will be better than not having a slug shotgun in your kinetic slot i would highly suggest using a reconstruction role so if you're farming for heritage and you just have one with reconstruction maybe just hang on to it until you get reconstruction and recombination because having those extra rounds is really really useful then for your energy slot you really want to have first in last out again that is first in last out it is an arc shotgun which plays really well for hunters and you want to have rolls with auto loading holster and vorpal rounds for both first in last out and heritage you would ideally have assault mag because you will shoot your rounds off faster otherwise that's really kind of what you need for the kinetic and energy slug shotgun but again if you don't have those exact roles heritage and first in last out in general will be fine but to have the best deeps you definitely want to have things that have stuff that automatically load that holster which is why recombination and reconstruction works so well because that reconstruction because it slowly loads your magazine up to twice its capacity so it's kind of like auto loading holster but a little bit better and then first in last out with auto loading holster it will reload when you flip to that heritage shotgun all right now that we've covered the weapons what are the mods you guys want to have on well i would highly suggest doing things like shotgun reserves and i fact i do two of them because when i do double shotgun reserves i can hold 41 rounds of my heritage and my first and last out combined so total shotgun rounds hold is 41 and then anarchy i have about 25 26 rounds which is plenty so if you want you could mess around with doing shotgun reserves and anarch and grenade launcher reserves but really i suggest doing double shotgun reserves then in your helmet you want to have shotgun ammo finder and grenade launcher ammo finder on your boots you want to have shotgun scavenger as well as grenade launcher scavenger so what this does is on the finder you're going to find more ammo for your weapons and on the scavenger each brick will give you more rounds especially because you're running double shotguns the, the rounds get spread between the two so having on that scavenger is super duper useful then you want to also have on for mods just things that kind of make your shotgun maybe just a little bit better that's kind of up to you like i happen to have shotguns that load themselves so i don't need to worry about shotgun loaders but if you don't have stuff like auto loading or re reconstruction you might want to consider throwing on some shotgun loaders so that way when you get bumped out of that circle for that damage phase you can kind of just real quick choop, 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 get those rounds loaded up on in there now let's go ahead and just talk a little bit about the exotics and how it works for each class we're going to kick the first one off with hunter then it'll be warlock then we'll do titan 
All right, for hunters, it's, it's not too bad. Really, you just want to have on the Mask of Backrus because that first sin lasts out as Arc, and so is Anarchy. And what happens is when you dodge, you get a really significant increase to damage for Arc weapons. And so when you're running double slugs and one of them's Arc and your Anarchy's Arc, this is fantastic because the general DPS strategy for every character when you're on Tanix is going to be one Anarchy on the boss, one on the ground. I usually do two on the boss and one on the ground. I don't know if that actually increases anything. That's just what I do. Could be a complete waste of ammo, but you at least want to do one on the boss and one on the ground. So how this is going to work is when you are doing these encounters, you're just punching everything. You don't even have to use your shotgun. And, and if the captains are giving you a pain in the butt, this is what I usually do. I use my grenades for the captain to get their shield off and plug them with one anarchy round because you get plenty of anarchy. And so it's really not that hard to you know give up one round. Plus you have on that ammo scavenger and finder and it's be really easy to make up that ammo so when you're killing all of those ads you just maybe do a dodge if you want to punch the the captain to get their shield gone sticking with anarchy everything else you can punch no problem and without any issues and if you're running stasis because you have to run stasis with the mask of Baskris, you just do a uh, shurikens and you can slow those enemies so it's really not that hard to pretty much be a titan and summon your inner titan when you're on your hunter and just punch everything saving those shotguns for the boss as well as that anarchy unless you want to use it for a captain now i when i run this particular class i'll even sometimes do suppressor and so i have so much anarchy rounds with the 25 26 which is the bare minimum that you get that i can do suppressor using anarchy and it's no issues like like i don't have ammo concerns and it's no problem now the only thing you really want to try to do is really concern that shotgun ammo because it is best for the damage phase because again what's going to happen is when you get through all those ads everyone's done their rolls you hop on into that little damage circle you drop two rounds of anarchy on the boss dodge and then just slug away with your shotgun with your first in last out once you run out of ammo ideally you have all loading holster flip to your kinetic shotgun and just do your damage with your heritage until you get bumped out, at which point I always reload my anarchy because everything's auto-loading. And then I, when I go back into the circle, I just go boop, boop with the anarchy and then just resume going away with my shotguns, dodging whenever I get a dodge. So that's how this works for the hunter. Not really hard. You don't have to use any ammo at all for ads unless you feel like you need to for a captain just to get him out of your face so now let's go ahead and talk about the warlocks for warlock it's probably the trickiest character and you really have a couple of options so if you have several warlocks and you happen to be the only one for some reason doing double slugs with your anarchy, then doing something like the necrotic grasp will really be really nifty with your punching. However, for damage phase, warlocks traditionally really, really need to run Luna Faction boots, especially because of your shotgun. So just assume from where your warlock, the exotic armor needs to be the Luna Faction boots. And here is why. Luna Faction boots increase the reload as well as give you some extra range, especially if you run empowering rift, because then that makes your, uh, your shotguns extra potent when you use your well you get range and the other benefits but when you're not in the well empowering rift is what's going to work out the best as far as damage goes on those luna faction boots so if you got two warlocks you can both just run well and healing rifts and boom that's going to be what you want to have for that damage phase and doing the damage will be the exact same as the hunter when that damage phase starts you just hop on in there give two shots of anarchy one to that boss one on the ground and switch to that first in last out because it's going to have ideally the auto loading and vorpal rounds once you get through the that ammo and you have to reload switch to your kinetic shotgun and just hammer away until you get booped out and then you just repeat that cycle for those two or three times depending upon which boss strat you are using now for the actual ad clearing you can still punch everything and be just okay in case you skipped from the timestamp straight to here here's going to be some of the mods you might want to make sure you have you want to have on those again those double shotgun reserves and you're going to want to make sure you got things like shotgun scavenger and grenade launcher scavengers and finders for the ads literally just punch everything if you feel like a captain might be about to kill you you can throw a grenade at him and then stick him with an anarchy or just do whatever you gotta do to break his shield if you really want to make sure you save those shotgun rounds 
for, for the damage phase as Anarchy, you usually have more than enough for one damage phase with those 25, 26, even if you're running the, the role of Suppressor. So that's all, that's all you gotta do. You just punch everything. That's it. That's all I do. That's all, that's all you need to do is you punch everything and just do your best to conserve your ammo. But of course, using some ammo is better than dying, so don't hesitate to use those shotgun rounds and Anarchy if you feel like you have to because the alternative will be death. Now we're gonna end the video by talking about my favorite class, the Titans. For Titans, there's really only one exotic you need for this particular encounter. You're gonna do Bubble Titan, which is top tree void, and your exotic armor is gonna be da 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 da, Dune Marchers, because you can clear out so much stuff when you just, just by punching. You just sprint a little bit, get that linear, linear reaction charge thing going, punch and add, and watch them all die. It's fantastic. These punch charges will also sometimes take out the shield of our wonderful captains, and so then it's really easy to just flip to an anarchy and stick that captain with one anarchy round. And that is all you have to do. Now, the reason you want to be on Bubble Titan is because you need to have that Bubble Weapons of Light for maximum damage, especially Especially if you are the only Titan in your raid group, it's best to be on Titan for with the bubble for weapons of light when you're doing the boss damage. So here's how the boss damage cycle is going to go, because literally all you have to do for the edge is sprint and punch, sprint and punch. That's it. And with bubble, you also get an overshield every now and then once that melee ability is charged up. So it's crazy easy to do punching. Warlock and... Uh, Hunter, I'm sorry, you guys gotta be a little bit smarter about your lives than the Titan do, but hey, it's fantastic. For damage, what's gonna happen is you guys, you know, get all your rolls done, you get the cores shot out, deposited, bing, bang, boom, and you group up in the common area by that rock in front of the boss waiting for a damage phase to happen. Right before you feel like that arc thing is gonna start going, indicating you can do damage, you drop that Titan bubble. Everyone in there will then have weapons of light going into that well to do even more damage on top of what they're already doing, because in theory, your whole team is doing double slugs and anarchy other than one individual who is doing divinity because you need to have divinity no matter what and that's going to be how you do this on titan super easy it's my favorite class i love it when i run this raid quite often way more than i need to for rewards each week and it's my favorite to be on titan because of doom marchers i can just punch literally everything and it works pretty well the whole damn raid and doom marchers will still work even on other subclasses it's most popular with the arc subclass thunder crash because of the slam from above but it works on every class you just gotta run a little bit and then you get that linear reaction and punch somebody in the face and watch all their friends die from electricity it's fantastic all right guys thank you all so much for watching this video i really hope this helped everyone out do not forget, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. It is the most efficient DPS to do double slugs and anarchy and it is not that hard to pull it off regardless of the class. I heard so many people saying, oh, you can only do it because you're a Titan. I'm like, nah, no, like it's just easier on a Titan, but I do totally do it all the time on all my classes. And hopefully this is a really nifty thing to help you guys look like super duper raid experts and like you're just unstoppable, knowledgeable beasts within this encounter. I have been Church of Caboose. Let me know down below if this video was helpful. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Have a great week and happy grinding, y'all.